Jackie Doyle Price. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm delighted to have actually got in at the end of this debate to make a plea for the cruise sector. We've heard much about aviation today, but rather less about our, our ships, which is rather bereft for a, a maritime nation such as ourselves. Um, but it has to be said that the impact of this pandemic on the cruise sector has been seismic. There's been a massive loss of capacity in the industry. Operators have gone to the wall. Ships have been scrapped. But we really need to get what is actually a great success story for this country. We need to get that industry going again. And just to just put some figures on that, we're talking about a 10 billion a year industry that supports nearly 90,000 jobs and 2 million passengers a year enjoy going on a cruise. And uh, I'm, I'm certainly anxious that we can all get back to normal. Um, so we can't really be waiting very much longer. And the fact is that all UK cruise traffic ground to halt in March. Now, I'm delighted that the Minister announced that domestic cruising uh, could recommence uh, not so long ago. But the truth of the matter is, is that this sector is not sustainable until it can commence with international sailing. Now, the problem we've got here, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, is that we've heard much about the, the, the uh, traffic-like uh, system as regards international travel, where each country uh, is given a traffic-like class. But the fact is that at the moment, the Foreign Office is treating cruising uh, as it would a country, and it, and it is uh, actually not allowing international cruising. And really, we should be thinking about cruise ships not as a destination, which is how the Foreign Office advice is currently working, but as a method of travel. And, and I just advise the House that, you know, ships are very flexible methods of travel. So if a country that's on an itinerary goes on the red list, the ship can simply go somewhere else. So I really must encourage the government to, come on, let's, let's give these people a break, uh, because the cruise industry has done everything that has been asked of it by the health authorities during this pandemic. It's, it's introduced you know, incredibly uh, sophisticated COVID secure measures with testing of staff, testing of passengers. Equally, it can actually organise uh, self-isolation and quarantine on the ships itself. So. I really do think, I think this is an industry which is a great British success story. It's led by gentlemen. They've been suffering in silence, actually, and doing what the government's asked for them. I know they're very complimentary of the support that they've been given by the Minister. But my message now is to the Foreign Office and to the Department of Health, and the Chief Medical Officer particularly, give this sector a break and let's get our ships back sailing on the seas where they belong.